Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, geometrical constructions. And for this particular lesson, we're going to look at construction of irregular polygons. And specifically, we're going to look at construction of a trapezium. So we want to see the procedures that are involved in constructing a trapezium. Basically, what a trapezium is and how to construct a trapezium. So we have a few questions on the same to help us with illustration on how that can be done, how to construct a trapezium. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some questions in the form of assignment just to help with practicing and also to help you gauge on your understanding of the concept as you're going to discuss during this lesson. So a, a trapezium is a, a four-sided figure with a, exactly one pair of parallel sides. We already, we, we already talked about this. So there is this side and this side that are parallel to each other. We must have at least, I mean, exactly one pair of parallel sides. And of course, it has to be a four-sided figure. So it has to have, it has to display the, the characteristics. One, a pair of parallel sides. And then of course, uh, they are, they are, it, it has to be a four-sided figure. So for you to construct a trapezium one, you must be given sufficient information that it will make the question doable. Like in this case, you are given certain lengths and certain angles as we're going to see. So one, we normally start with the side, this one down here, you see, we're calling it draw line AB. So that line is definitely given in the question. So we already talked about how to construct a, a straight line. So you mark A and then you measure 8 centimeters, you mark B and then maybe you're given this angle. So you construct that angle or you measure. These angles already we have talked about their construction. So I'm not going to talk about their constructions of this, but I'll talk about how, you, I mean, I'll just be measuring them. But remember, you can construct them. If you missed out on how to construct an angle, for example, of 60 degrees, you can check on our previous videos on the same. You'll be able to see how to construct a given respective angles. So you'll be given, after you've measured the angle, you've drawn the line, the point C is a number of centimeters, for example, five centimeters from point B. You just mark it, mark that. Now what you need to do is to construct a line that is parallel to line AB but passing through C. Already we have talked about that as well previously. On, on one of our previous videos, we have talked about that, how to construct a line passing through a given point and uh, parallel to a given line. You just need to check on our previous videos on the same. We've done a video on how to construct a line that is parallel to a given line and, 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 and passing through a given point. We just need to construct a line that is passing through C and parallel to the given line AB. Yes, you can either use a set square or using a ruler and a pair of compasses only. Okay. Then after that, now you know that the point D is 4 centimeters. So using C as the center and arc, you locate point D. And now it's just a matter of completing the four-sided figure by joining A to A to D, and you have the, the trapezium drawn. So it is that simple. It's not difficult as long as you follow the instructions. It's just applying, it's an application of what you have learned previously. So you see here we are given that uh, information that we are supposed to construct a trapezium A, B, C, D. See, it's a four-sided figure with the line AB 8 centimeters, BC 5 centimeters, CD is 4 centimeters, and the angle ABC 60 degrees. And of course, there must be a, a, at least, a, there must be exactly one pair of parallel sides, so you must take note of that. The best option is to sketch first. See, if you have the rough sketch of what you want to draw, it's easier. So you start with AB. So this is AB which is 8 centimeters, then BC is 5 centimeters, so BC, C is here, and then D is here. You name the vertices in the order of alphabet, so you start with A here, then you move to B, then C, then D. Let's see, in, in a clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on which one you prefer, whether clockwise or anti-clockwise. So A, B, C, D. So BC is 5, C, D is, six, is 4, so this one is 4 centimeters. And there is an angle given ABC. This angle here is 60 degrees. So if you have the rough sketch, you already know that this line here is parallel to that. So it means you are going to draw a line that is parallel to AB and passing through C. So you start with AB. So I draw a line first, then I mark A. 
Then I measure eight centimeters. I'm measuring eight centimeters. Eight centimeters. Then I'm using A as the center and the radius of eight centimeters. I'm making an arc to cut the line, and where the arc cuts the line, that is where B is. So this is eight centimeters. Now you need to construct an angle of 60 degrees at B. Uh, I've already talked about construction of angle 60 degrees, so I'll not construct in this case, but I'll simply measure. So we need to You need to measure an angle of 60 degrees. So I've marked. That's where 60 degrees is. So I draw a line through that mark. Yes. So I know point C is along that line, but 5 centimeters from B. So I measure 5 centimeters. So five centimeters. Now using B as the center and the radius is five centimeters, B as the center and the radius of five centimeters, you make an arc. Where that arc cuts the line, that is where C is. Now the challenge that we have now is to construct a line that is this line here. The line parallel to A, B, but passing through C. So you can use a, a ruler and a set square, or you can use a ruler and a pair of compasses. And before this case, I'll use I'll use a, I will use a set square. So I'll use a ruler and a set square. So I need to draw a line that is parallel to the line AB and passing through through C. C. Then now I know that uh, point D is four centimeters from C, so I just measure that. So from C, I measure uh, four centimeters. So using C as the center, in the radius of four centimeters, you mark that, you make an arc, and that arc uh, is four centimeters from C, so this is where D is. So now we just complete the trapezium by joining A to D. Yes, you have your trapezium already constructed. So we have another one here where you are supposed to construct. So you, you start with the same, you start with the line. So you, the best option is to sketch first. So I have MN, 10 centimeters, and then MNOP. So NO is five and MNO is 45, so this angle here is 45 degrees. You must be given that angle there. And then OP is 4 centimeters again. 
So the same thing that we did, you just draw a line, then you mark M, and then now you measure 10 centimeters. Now 10 centimeters. Now using M as the center and the radius of 10 centimeters, you make an arc to cut the line at point N. Now you need to construct 45 degrees at N I've, I've, you've done construction for 5 degrees, so you need to construct 90 and then you bisect. In this case, I'll just measure. That is where 45 is. So you draw a line through that mark. Yes, yeah, so this angle here is 45 degrees. And then I know... O is 5 centimeters from N. So you measure 5 centimeters and then I use N as the center. And the radius is 5 centimeters. I make an arc. That is where O is. And now I need to draw a line that is parallel to MN but passing through O. So I use a set square. Okay. If you don't know how to do that... Yes, so and then now using O as the center in the radius of 4 centimeters. So you measure 4 centimeters. So using O as the center. So you mark that. So that is where P is. Now we join M to P. And you have your trapezium drawn already. So that is all. We have a few questions to help you practice on, on the same. You can always try and attempt when that happens to be soonest possible. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.